Okay, so me and my friend here has made a Lego filter. First, there's a grizzly bar. Then there is this Lego gate as a finer filter, which can go there. Then we have the finest filter. We have a bunch of these bricks which have texture, and we have it so the sideways angles touch, so it just lets fine water go through. We've tested it with one of the sets of these. Now we're doing it with two to get even cleaner water. And you'll think, man, that water's dirty until you see what's inside of the machine. So as I am, so right now I'm putting the second filter on. And then one more grizzly bar and some dirt will be trapped behind there. So that is the first part. Then where you pour the water in, we have these little vents here and some fine particles of dirt gets trapped in it. Let me see. See, it goes right here. And before we put the top on, I will we'll record when we put the dirt in. But so that's the only stuff under it, nothing else. Filtering it, no regular filter. Wait until you see how clean the water is. Okay. So I have a tablespoon of dirt here. Hopefully you don't intentionally put dirt in the water which you're about to filter. But there it goes right into the pour spout. And here's three fourths of a cup of clean water. Nothing else than we showed you in Lego bricks inside. So now let's see how clean. It's pouring out. This is a little bit finer dirt. Here's some more of the water. I'm trying to hold it over from this, which is leaking dirty water. Let me get some more clean water. Okay, here comes here, I can some. Hold it. No, just leave it there. It's perfect. It's usually cleaner, it's because this was more muddy, so it went through the system easier. I think this should be funny. You think that this water is dirty, wait until you see what's inside the system. Behind the first grizzly bar, there's all of that dirt. Not good compared to our first test. It's because this is more muddy. Behind the second set of filters, there's a whole bunch of dirt right there. So that's from two things. But wait. It gets sturdier as you go further back into the machine. There's all of this dirty stuff, but look how much dirt there is there. See, now you're thinking that this is actually a good filter. Our first test, look. when it wasn't as muddy, mm -hmm. it's it because it started raining. See how much dirt there is on that? A ton and see how much there is in here but wait there is more see how much dirt there is inside those little vents and inside here look how much dirt there is let's see how much dirt there is about total that's gross <laughs> So you're thinking that this filter's pretty good now, aren't you?
on our first test when it wasn't as muddy, mm -hmm. the water was based all only little teeny fine pieces of mud. I meant mm -hmm. dirt mm -hmm. was in the water. But since it started raining, it's muddy. If it was dry, there would be less dirt. But see how much mud there is? There's even more than that, which it's too fine for me to get out. So this is our filter. You should make one and see how fine you can make it. We'll make it longer and have it even finer. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've made my wash plant as long as the base plate. First, when it comes in, there's a grizzly bar. The gate we were using, another grizzly bar. Three more gates, a fine wash plant, a gate, a fine wash plant. Then another grizzly bar, then some um, of the grip thing to get the fine dirt before it comes out so it doesn't get washed out in a final grizzly bar. So now I'm about to run the dirt through it once I put the roof back on. And I have rinsed all of these before I used it. So here's the dirt we're using today. Our cup and our